Well, the childhood home of a Macon music legend has found new life as a community resource center. Abby Kosoros explains how the Community Enhancement Authority plans to use the Little Richard House to help turn around a neighborhood. Our plan is to kind of display his personality and his love for Macon and love for people. Chris Carter, one of the two employees hired to work at the Little Richard House, says he's ready to show it off. He's even more excited to make a change in the lives of kids visiting. We'll never know what's in our mind of our children that they're going to be one day. And we're investing in that future for them. And so investing in Little Richard House is, is investing in the vision for a brighter future. The house almost didn't open. Bibb County commissioners cut the program's budget from $96,000 to $10,000. We are spending money like we have it. We are not cutting our expenses like we need to. Commissioner Valerie Wynn asked to sell the house at one point, but the full commission finally approved giving the Community Enhancement Authority $100,000 to get the center open and running. Their budget, $37,000 for personnel, $24,000 for maintenance, $12,000 for utilities and taxes, the rest for fees, insurance, and running programs like SAT prep courses and homeowner seminars. It's not necessarily the fact whether the money was needed or not needed. It says the community, to the community, hey, your city cares. Tendra Houston took over over as head of the CEA a few months ago. She wants to make lasting changes in Pleasant Hill. That includes getting the house its own funding so they won't have to rely on the county. And we're going to start right here in Pleasant Hill and then move to the next community and keep going as, as the Lord allows us to do. Hoping the home of the man known as the architect of rock and roll can lay the foundation to revitalize one of Macon's poorest communities. In Macon, Abby Casores, 13 WMAZ News. Right, now the grand opening there this Saturday starts at 11 a.m., goes until 5, live music, tours all day if you want to check out Little Richard's childhood home. The plan is for the center to be open from 9 to 5.30 Tuesdays through Saturdays.